Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Pax Britannica mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Nuremberg, Germany lover, but German construct workers arrive. The relocation of German laborers to Nord de Calais and Franche Comont. Departments have largely been a success. About 50,000 German POWs have already arrived in their labor facilities in the region. With more convoys expected to depart from Germany soon, too. The success of this initial operation will set the groundwork for further labor locations in the future. 75 of the total 61 convoys have arrived at their destinations without issue, while the remainder four faced or face minor setbacks will ultimately achieve their goal as well. Notably, convoy number 38. One of the convoys responsible for transitioning German workers from the Augsburg Regional Correctional Facility lost 45 workers and three guards after crossing a leftover minefield in a rural road near Stuttgart. The Ministry of Public Affairs is elected to keep this information confidential from the press, but a proposal for a minesweeper labor force in the area by the Ministry of Transport has been filed and attached to this document. The labor facility so far reported no major problems in managing the newly arrived workers. The influx of workers in the Nord de Calais and French Comte uh, departments is expected to increase production of the recently expanded mines in the region by 20% in a few weeks. If all continues to go well, as well as boost of industrial output of many factories in the area, well, which will further improve well, with further improvements expect, expect, yeah, expected with the arrival of more workers. Get those Germans on the mine sweeping duty already. Nice. And we could probably keep going down this way as well, which I did read, I think, last time as well, so. Well, you know, I'll read this one again because I want to. The Church of Rome has long held unjust influence of France, influencing our politics, economy, and culture. While perhaps at some point it may also play a positive role, those days are long gone. The Church of today simply serves to hinder the citizens' ability to dedicate themselves to the state. For the good of ourselves and future generations, we must free ourselves from their curse. So, it's going to take a long time to actually capitulate all these guys, which I don't really feel interested in taking out the United Commonwealth. That's a bit too much, in my personal opinion, to capitulate th this group. I mean, yeah, it makes sense why they're major, but still. Virginia. Albemarle? New Jersey makes sense. New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. Why does the Commonwealth of Quebec own Wisconsin? What is this timeline? Why is it so terrible when, with Wisconsin? Who likes Wisconsin? Eh, I guess some people do. For military factories, we're going to need more naval bombers and stuff like that, so. Um, because we're going to have to naval invade those groups over there. And another division? Nice. Where are we at here? Um, you guys are all the way up here, which is kind of okay. You guys are over there, you guys are over there, and you guys are over there. Alright, so you guys come back home. Guys, we're going to start thinking about naval invasions as well. Ooh, hey, three subs sunk, nice. What is that? Theirs is ours. Nice, if you're going to do that again, please go ahead. Purge Catholic influences. And we have a German Liberation Front present, so we got to keep pushing this down. Um, minus two, minus four is not bad. Uh, pro revanchista propaganda campaigns. That's not bad, too. I kind of want to wait to get something like this, maybe. Uh, go minus four, or maybe get up here, minus six. That one would be very good. Or execute a German general. That'd be good as well, but let's do this as well first. Bing, bong, boom, and ding. Nice. Convoys, keep sinking them. Keep sinking pretty much everything they got. We're going to lose a lot of cast, but whatever. Airplane stuff. Tactical bomber, ground support, air superiority, why not? Fancify the borders. No, no more loose ends. Entirely eliminate the units entirely. We can really use more political power now. Hmm. More fuel? We can wait on that. Tungsten would actually be very nice to get right now. We could honestly really, really use that. So, increase the fuel reserves. In preparation for the upcoming war, we must address the topic of our strategic fuel reserves. We're not an oil rich nation, as such, we must expand our fuel reserves to meet the increasing demands of our military. Or we can do this one too. Develop the collaborator states. Well, with regions in Europe under our jurisdiction, we have the possibility to build up some economies of these states. Well, else we wish we'd have to bear such a fact, unfortunately. With the conquest of new lands comes the cost of maintaining these regions. If we can actually political power, you know what? I might just not even do political power or do a focus right now, just because we need to bomb the living crap out of um, these areas. Yeah. This keeps rising more and more, which is not good. Um, you know what? Do this one first. There you go. In the meantime, we just need to take out the, Ger not the Germans. Uh, we took out the Germans last time. These folks. These folks up here. So, any more naval bombers, okay. Way, 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 way more. More intelligence right now. These are both naval bombers doing their stuff. But we're going to need some regular fighters, which means we're going to need some more fuel, which means we're going to need some more military factories and whatnot here. Raise the SP. Factionalism increases. Manpower. Oh, that one's hard to do as well. 82%. We'll see what happens. So since you're all down here now, where are you guys at? You guys are down there, which is fine. 
Here's down there, which is also very fine. No one really cares. Do that with one sub left, which is not very good. Oh, I guess they're still fighting down here, huh? Well, they're not suffering nutrition. You know what? If anything, let them do it. I don't want to invade because that means they have to keep supplying, put, putting convoys through here. So, all right, I'm okay with that. Cass, yeah, throw more Cass. Even though Cass is not very good for doing this type of stuff, do it anyways because you can. All right. This SP expand military garrison. Sure, why not? Cancel lend lease. It's fine. Fourteen days. Yeah, because if we were to do something like this one. We lose so much political power, which is just ridiculous. I'm not sure what you're supposed to be able to do here. So we're not going to keep doing focuses for here on out for now. So, which is kind of not cool in my opinion, but whatever. Who am I? And get some up because we need it. Oh, whoa! Look at that. Now that's beautiful. Now that's just awesome. That's what we like to see. Knowledge and research, support, armor. Armored trains are very nice. Brute Decimetrical Radar. Stuff in 1938, yes. <coughs> um, nice intelligent trait. No, not quite. Military Tribunal. Really? CSPs. Well, we'll do as much as we can. To remove as much influence as possible, as fast as possible, so. Yeah, it sucks that we can't do a focus. It really does suck. Why? Why? Hey, at least silver song. That's good. Nice. Hey, not bad. How big is their navy and whatnot? Cornwall. 50,000. Tons of convoys. 188 ships is still quite a few. Scania still wants to give us more stuff. It's not bad. Barson group. Why do we have so much of this? It's, I don't think this is very balanced, to be honest with you. I don't think this is really set up for, our, for success for us. But you know what? Whatever. There's really not much we can do about it. Minus four. I don't really want another division. Whoa. Well, it's not our ships. What do you expect? Look at that. Where are the planes, son? We need planes over there. Oh, we need more rations? We really need more rations? Holy crap. We're really out of rations, aren't we? Um, that would be bad to do. Yeah, screw it. We're we'll going to get this one next. Alright, so in industry. Keep building more arms. That'd be good. This way, I keep building more interwar, interwar bombers, which we need to research more of. Ninety-three percent is not bad, but yeah, this is really boring. Oh no, at this point, I feel like using cons commands. This is really stupid. I have to wait so long for this. Are you kidding me? Now we're to manpower too, huh? Where? Uh, we should be coring that already, but you know what? Because of the way this is set up, we really can't. That's good. Denounce political violence. Denounce pioneers. Expanding promotes here and there. What happened to the whole coring? These places. Ah, that's 150 down here. Jesus Christ. You were still using this, so that'd be nice. You know what? We can't afford that anymore. So, with that in mind, where are we at now? 84%, which is just so stupid. See the remnants? That'll be good. If anything, we should get after you know after you win against Germany, you should get way more political power. Karbyshev, huh? Of course, Bohemia as well. Russia well, do not want to get any bigger. Weird. Military garrison, release the SP. Not worth it, I guess. Yeah, with twenty-five military garrison, naval bomber too. That'd be nice. Better cast. Better naval bombers. Skenia? Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, Confederation of Antilles. Skenia. Republic of Japan? What happened there? Holy crap. That sounds disgusting. Alright. 
Naval mission efficiency would be very nice. And some more trains. Yeah, it's fine. 50. 60. Miles away to get a 60, I guess. German Dutch hostilities? Well, they're gone. Hmm. Alright. Another German general. Do we get any more ships? Ah, yes. The Munich, the Frankfurt, the Alta, multiple different other classes. It's not bad. General Alphonse is a pretty good general. Pretty better, but still. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to expect me to do this. So, if it doesn't get any better soon, I'm just going to use Kant's commands. Mm -hmm. 78%. I mean, this is a bit extreme. Man, come on. I don't know if the devs really thought this through. Maybe they did. Oh, we have minus four. You might as well just recruit collaborators then. Because minus two is not good enough. Yeah. Um, I guess Russia's still fighting people, huh? Oh, look at that. Well, we did win in Italy here, but I guess we've got more enemies to fight, huh? So be it. Sweet best Africa submits. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Alrighty, then. The next one for four. Two is just not enough. Yeah, commit to show strength. We'll do that one. Went there pretty easily. Oh, destroyers and convoys. Nice, nice, nice. I guess we still technically have to win in Africa too, but I don't really care. Also, this is really weird. Look at all this gap here. Oh, you guys actually invaded. Look at that. Nice. Good job. Good job, guys. All right. Well, we're out of manpower, and at this point, this is really stupid. I'm honestly, this is incredibly stupid. What are we supposed to do, huh? What the heck are we supposed to do? We are given no political power to do anything. This is not done very well. Especially as a dictatorship, you don't have political power? I don't think so, and I read about all these last time, but still. Like, come on. I need more war support. That's nice. Guess we're going to kill another German general. Oh, sure, why not? I guess I can start deleting armies because we can't do anything else, so. Thanks, game. Thanks. Thanks so much. That, that's exactly what we want in a mod. Because we have no manpower. Because you need some, some sort of arbitrary amount of uh, political power. To get rid of resistance, which makes some sense, but you know, this it doesn't make that much sense right now. It really does not. No, why did they stop? Force you? Oh my god, that's incredibly stupid. This mod's come, slowly starting to get unfurled for me here. It still needs a little bit more tweaking here and there. We got a big old industry though, which is nice. We can build up uh, German schools. Huh, look, no stability, of course. Why would they want that? Uh, military police, why not? They could help us out. Mm, I guess we could go desperate defense, but that's not really worth going all the time. I don't know. I don't want to do it. It doesn't make any sense for us to do it right now. We shouldn't need to go down that way. National processing. More fuel is always very nice to get to. Next year, German general. It's fine. Oh my god, the frontline system. Jesus Christ, come on. No, force the attack. Kill them all off. Or, or die yourself. I mean, doing this is stupid. If anything, we're, we're the convoys.
There should be no possible way. You know what? Since we are already lacking at map bar, here, just delete him. Delete him for supply. That's, that's what the intentions of the devs, so. Thanks, devs. This is not fun. Doing the only thing we can. Can't do focuses. Dev said no. Mm. That's all processing. That's nice. Put some comments. Someone says the way I pronounce Marseille is terrible. It's pronounced Marseille. Is it really pronounced Marseille? I have no idea. If it is, then my apologies. Oh boy. Uh, someone says the fun fact: Tesla was a close friend of Uncle of, Tr of Trump's uncle. <clears throat> I did not know that. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. If I don't get Nasbol France, and someone says I will require laborist Britain. Someone says, make sure you finish your focus group before capitulating the British. Might lock you out of part of it otherwise. Well, at this point, we're locked out of the focus group, period, because of the whole regional thing, stupid thing there. And someone says, viva la France. So, cool. Not bad. Um, yeah. They want to stay there, then they can stay there. They're just going to lose pretty much all their manpower then. Just like how we had to delete the entire army because the devs don't want us to get any more manpower. Thank you. So much. So much. Uh, do we have air superiority here at least? No, we don't. Which is probably a big, a big mistake. There you go. Um, what else? Some great war fighters. Ooh, ooh great war naval bombers. Eh, great war level is pretty weak. But we'll use them anyways for now. Great fighters. Just take everything you can find. All right. Well, okay. Nope. I don't want these divisions because they suck, and that just costs more manpower for no reason. So, I think I will do more of this off-screen, basically wasting my time until we can get this further and further down. And uh, yeah, so we can actually start doing some focuses. Oh, you know, this is great. I love this so much. Um, and that's so we can help continue to reduce a lot of these issues. Well, everyone, after waste, basically wasting a lot of time, which is incredibly stupid, um, I think, just, we're now 38% by doing no more focuses, but we have invaded basically Britain, the Commonwealth of Britain, which needs to die in a fiery, fiery hole, and we've been actually successfully naval invaded and destroyed a lot of ships this way. Um, I did convert our tank divisions pretty much fully on over to 18 combo width with the Quadrobot Automats, which looked really, really cool. We're probably going to get rid of the motorized infantry eventually, but that's alright. We'll get there eventually, maybe, because we'll have a lot of time to do all these focuses once we get through this crap right here. Which, I, I'm sorry I'm being so negative about it, but my god, is it probably one of the worst things I've seen in a Hoi 4 mod so far. Like, I get why it's there, but why, why are you wasting our time with that? Like, why is it taking up so much extra time when we can't be doing focuses that we really should be able to? So, um, Fall of London, that's Falls of the British Empire. Um, someone did say, like I did say earlier, like, we should probably finish Focus Street before we can, or before we capitulate the British. But, yeah, we're pretty much already there anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, well, this one. Ah, a British collaborator controls a piece of England, yeah. Well, we'll see. Oh, this, I think this is just a giant mistake. Just, a, like, I, like I said, I know it's why it's there, but it's just a huge mistake. No reason for it to exist like that. No reason. Literally no reason. To be that spongy in terms of just needing so much political power when you're dictatorship. Uh, note to self, dictatorships do not have a lot of political power. I'm sorry I'm so negative about it. Oh my gosh. Like, I did not play this just to lose all my political power, not be able to raise any more forces, and pretty much play the game like normal. <laughs> Liverpool, thank you. Yeah, that was actually really easy to take in the mouth. Really fucking easy. You know what? Screw this army. I want armor. Occupation of Britain. With Britain fully under control, we must decide what to do with the region. Break up the occupation into regional governments. Look at that. Oh, don't tell me we, have to, we all have to deal with them too. We don't have enough political power to help put down partisans. Oh, please, for the love of God. Oh, great, we concludes. Look at that. Fall of Britain. Continent bound in steel. Claiming the mantle. Britain may be dead, but democracy lives on. Whoa. Nice. Very nice. Far from home, nothing lasts forever. Very cool. So, United Commonwealth. One thing I do like about this is that 
Did they keep expanding northwards? Most of this owned by someone else. I thought th that they these guys just kept expanding northwards and taking just like colonizing this area. I guess not. All right. Uh, we'll probably do an, execute another German general. I guess we have infinite German generals. Led by William Brooke Joyce. We've got Wales. Led by Hugh Louis Glenn Hughes, or whoever, how you pronounce that. And some balding guy. Or I guess he's maybe he's got a buzz cut. He's not balding. He's got some sort of buzz cut. Really thick buzz cut. Uh, 1941, of course. Let's see. Drugs. Take some drugs. So uh, we get this one soon. I'll go with Military Tribunal. Conquest of Germania. And the partisans will get we'll get rid of that soon too, which we got nice. <sighs> I hate this so much. We should make these guys a little, a little thicker in terms of divisions. Um, once this is done, will we be able to do this? No, it has to be less than thirty percent. So thirty percent is not good enough. We're running out of things to build, like infrastructure. We're literally building a continent full of just infrastructure. So, yeah. Not much else is going on. At least we're at peace now, which is kind of nice actually. Uh, this is all going to get destroyed eventually, anyways, from partisans and whatnot, right? So, yeah, there you go. And a bit of lost here too. Caucasian vice royalty, it's fine, whatever, because we have nothing else to build. Nice. At least that's good to get, and let's grab some of that too. Anything else over here? We got to get collaborators, and then we'll be okay. And in the meantime, we do our we are quite making quite a few sub threes, which is pretty nice. And over here, um, get more subs. Why not? Why not? You could always use more subbies. Ooh, better infantry equipment. Why not? As well. And I want to show you at least getting to Military Tribunal next. Well, this is looking pretty nice for now. The Pact Revanchista. So, why can't we go to war with anyone else? Oh, look, League of Nations right there. League of Nations. Portuguese. Kingdom in Exile, League of Nations, of course. German Liberation Forces. Burn in a second. Not a lot of divisions. Completely out of manpower, as they should be. So, yeah. Um, 32%, two days, and then we can do Military Tribunal. Which will be a great thing for us. Right, Stage 2, which will be awesome. As we are slowly dying here, and now we get 1.79 political power every single day. The conquest of Germania, where the German Liberation Front now defeated, our occupation over the German nation has gone unquestioned. Germany is now nothing but a shell of its former self, and its people are forever subjected to our demands. One day, Germany is a constant will die, but in all the people of Europe will know this fact because France conquers all. Oh, how sweet it is to hear them scream, as we're doing a renewed national spirit. Oop, a little bit of lag, but you know, what else is new? Um, with a victory over Europe now realized, we are... Realize our openly hostile stance towards the Anglo-German world can see can ease. Our goal of French-dominated Europe has been achieved, and now so the time for reconstruction and celebration has begun. We have more nationalistic fervor, which we can now start working on, thank God, and replace anti-Germanism with esprit renouvel. I apologize, I can't read that. Um, yeah, that'd be really great to do. Get plus plus point five political power. Well, that's nice. Uh, where is that? Yeah. Um, where is it? That's really nice that we have 100% party popularity. Labor camps, of course. Oh, maybe it's back over here. Yeah. Legacy of the Carolingian Empire, beating heart for France, anti-Germanism, so... We didn't lose political power, but... Kind of dumb that you... You honestly can't take this one without having the National German Liberation Front, whatever they call themselves, like, go up to 100%. You, 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 you pretty much can't do that. So, that's not very cool. Not very not fun. Soft attack, heart attack, I like them soft. Out of that one, develop the national armies. Might as well. The cost of occupying these new French, newly French subjects has taken a toll on our economy. One way we can mitigate these costs is by establishing armies native to these nations. While some in the military and government may question such a decision, we don't really uh, have an option, of course. And of course, we can still go to war with uh, Denmark and Norway. And I want to finish through pretty much all the focuses that we possibly can, because we should just be able to blitz through most of this. But then again, I've been wrong before about this mod, so we'll see. We'll see. And we'll have a lot of. Uh, resistance up here too, which does kind of suck, because these guys have like no manpower for some reason. Why don't they have any manpower? Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. Excuse me. Can I cl please click on Scotland? They have a thousand manpower. It is what it is. Um, infantry anti-tank, anti-tank 2, ahead of time, but at this point I don't think it really matters. 
Yeah, we'll formalize the Netherlands as a French uh, province. That's what we're going to do next. Alright. Now we get more political power, but it's not enough. Fortify the channel? Might as well. The likely region the darn Angles will invade is the coast of Normandy. Because of this, we should build up a series of naval forts, trenches, mines, and land ships. Traps make the process of naval invasions even harder. Which is nice, but there's no enemy left here, so... Um... Yeah, we kind of like Romania. Romania's kind of nice. Actually, we like him quite a bit under Michael I. It's Albania under Sophie I. Yeah, we should do more about this, but this mod is still in development, like I said. Things should still get tweaked and fixed and finalized and stuff like that. I like these divisions a lot, though. They look so cool. Quadrupods? I mean, I'm in a 38 combat now with more armor and piercing, more soft attack. A healthy amount of organization for the amount of, like, armor they have. Could use more hardness, of course, but still. Build the National Armories, fortify the Channel, um, fortify the Côte d'Azur. The belly of France remains vulnerable to enemy naval invasion. It is the least defended region of France, and lacks fortification that can be found in other areas of France. To address this issue, the French government has granted the regional administration some additional funds to bring the region up to par with the rest of France. I'll pretty much try to do every focus we can, like I said, while waiting to formalize the Netherlands as a French province. And we get some more stability, which would be great. We lose two civilian factories, but we'll get them back eventually and get four more cores. Which is awesome. Fortifies the channel. Fortify the Côte d'Azur. That would be great. Ah, approved computer machine. Very nice. Grab some encryption. And fortify Brittany. Brittany, just like the rest of France, is susceptible to enemy invasions and occupation. While the region already has fortification thanks to the ones in power, Breton government, many of these are outdated and are lacking essential military requirements. Fort is Europe. It's not bad. And we'll, we'll come back to do this stuff later, but I mean, we can do it now, but we can wait. I still want to finish everything else here. Like, we still need to do um, increased fuel reserves on the hunt for tungsten, despite our nation's richness and various national resources. There's one major material shellacks in tungsten, however. There have been reports this resource being found within the town of Bourges. Bu We're going to talk about migrate branch industries. As stipulated in our treaty, Germany is to provide France with necessary, necessary materials at requests. While the initial industrial demands are rather fair as the war continues to changes, so does the situation. The economic thirst for more factories is too great for France to sustain by itself and must acquire new industries to address such issues, which I think are right before too, but whatever. Integration of the Rhineland? Might as well. With the Rhineland now under full control of the French state, efforts must be made to integrate these newly conquered territories in the greater France. New settlements will be raised in the major Rhenish industry of Cologne. We will Frenchify the Rhineland and welcome her as one of French core territories. We talked about this one as well. We talked about all these. Uh, nuclear reactors would be very nice. Grab some of that too. And uh, Fortress, Fortress uh, Europa. With much of Europe under control, it's become vitally important that we ward off any potential Anglo invasions. All we have to do is sit and wait for the enemy to come, and if they do, then God help them all. Devotion to the war effort. Our population must be dedicated to the war effort if they love France and wish for to see her to return to the global stage, then they must sacrifice the, our all for the betterment of our nation, arguably Europe as a whole. And no more loose ends. With the position government is secure, we must make sure to purge any remaining influences of the monarchy of old. This includes Jean the First himself and any of supporters. Um, did I read this one? Uh, the terminal enemy of France, a fiduous German, still maintains a presence in eastern lands, a presence of filth, fifth colonists, and spies, waiting on the order from Frankfurt to destroy the new France. For sake and the sake of the continued existence of France, we must root them out. Pretty much. Uh, army XP gain? Well, army XP doesn't really matter too much to me at this point. I don't want more supply consumption, though. Vaseline? Thousand. Thousand. Okay, thousand. Why not? European Commonwealth. You know what? We'll get these two. We'll get to expand economic influence in the independent state of Russia and National Revolutionary Republic of Italy. German factories moved. Following our orders, several major factories worth of equipment from occupied Germany have already been dismantled and relocated to French logistical hubs by the SB, a good portion of them originating from the rural Westphalia industrial region. Already, the overflow of industrial equipment has encouraged the construction of new factories all across France, expanding employment through construction of future industrial jobs. All this is coming to severe cost of German workers who are losing potential jobs with the steady dismantlement of their industrial complex. Well, this increased tensions in the territory, notably Dortmund, where small riots sparked up across the city. The occupation regime has assured us that the local police is not expected to face any trouble dealing with the unrest and unemployment in the following weeks. Nevertheless, the increase of industrial equipment in France is expected to boost our industrial output for the foreseeable future. Not quite reparations, but it will suffice. A lot of nuclear bombs, because you can? Cool. Yeah, we'll just want to why not. <clears throat> I say it that gives, you might as well at this point. With Dora's political presence secured and the French economy proving, it is now found necessary to implement this once promised welfare is spouted to the French people. And why not eliminate unions entirely? While for the most part unions have been removed from French society thanks to our efforts, however, some still remain, and no matter how shackled and toothless they may be, the very existence is an insult to the new France, so we must immediately enforce a ban on all trade unions. Pretty much. I thought we were supposed to get an event here. The mass deportation of Germans. 
I was promised mass deportations. Uh, I'll do Prussia first because they help us out the most first. And then we'll do Italy, and then we'll, we'll keep doing this stuff. This is... It doesn't seem like this even matters. Like, 0% national sick forever, which doesn't make any sense for us. Honestly, that doesn't make any sense. We've won the war already. We should be very, very nationalistic after winning that war. And factualism? I don't mind factualism being a little high. Holy crap, we made a lot of... Holy crap. That's a lot of subs. Holy crap. That's a lot of subs. Um, okay, well, whatever. No more loose ends. Uh, say the gifts, tying up loose ends. Uh, Charles Moras took one long sip from his tea, savoring the hot taste with his lips. The kiosk that was beginning to grow, and he knew it might very well be the last cup he ever had. Putting the cup down, Moras looked up at the figure of the Virgin Mary looking down on him from the shelf, grasping the rosary in his hand. The old monarchist began to pray not for his own soul, but for that of for France. Oh, his poor, poor France. First, she had, uh, had tasted defeat against Bosch, then she betrayed her God-given king, and now, oh, now she was betraying herself to savages not worthy of the title Frenchman. Mercy, mercy for France, that was all he prayed for. Door broke open as an armed band of SP troopers broke through his door. The sound of a pistol and three rifles being cocked to his head roused the old man from his prayers. Don't mind me, gentlemen, I've given my life for France. If you must kill me now, that's between you and God. May he have mercy on you and mercy on France. Viva la France. And so with the clang of three can the life of Charles Moras came to an end. Remnants of a past, best left. Forgotten. Alright, cool. See what that gives, and then of course we'll do that one too. And Manifest Destiny. We get another research slot. Viva la France, huh? I want to save that one for us a little later, but we can go ahead and read that one anyway. So it's the destiny of every strong people to go out and conquer land for themselves. Those who not are simply prey, living only until the hunters hunger for more. Nice. So we do all those. We'll do that one as well. Ooh. Integration of the Rhineland. We read about that as well, which is very nice. We've done all that run. Conceptualize the landship. What's the landship? We're not so sure, but our scientists are. Through research and testing, we can discover the strengths and weaknesses of the landships. Knowing these things is half the battle, finding is the other half. Research is underway to make our landships more powerful, durable, and agile. Resolving the fuel issue. Landships require excess amounts of fuel, and nothing short of completely full landships are acceptable. More effective fuel will be developed, and more refiners will be constructed to remedy the growing pangs of our landships. Guerre éclair. Guerre éclair must be pursued. The perfidious Germans call it Blitzkrieg, but even with the knowledge of our ideas, they are not safe. We will quickly overcome them before they can utter a syllable. Oh, nice. And focus on the quick campaign. The military is on a strict timetable. Any war fought on must be won quickly. Prolonged warfare does not fit our doctrine. There will be intense pressure and heat among the, upon the enemies of France, and her people will make them learn to beg for mercy. City Camps of Walker Designs. Spies have finally captured the blueprints of some walkers, a great boon to, for military understanding. The mechanics of these hulking beasts will be incredibly valuable for the war effort. For the search required on these walkers to understand them. Relaxed SP recruitment standards. Our paramilitary is currently having finding issues, willing and uncompromising recruits. Through a mix of programs, this can be remedied. Lower physical standards will lead to a soft personnel boon in the SP. Improve SP training standards. It turns out that lowering standards led to subprime soldiers. Grave mistake, that'll be rectified. These soldiers must be trained right though, through intense conditioning and moral drilling, they'll be the cream of the crop. An elite branch of the army, which is not bad, versus the state attack docks. I kind of prefer this one, because we don't really have too much SP right now, so. The SP are nothing but glorified thugs, and that's exactly how we want them. Sometimes dirty work must be done. As long as the slobbering dogs get the job done, what harm is it that they bite the hands of passerby? More recruitment population enables editing the division to security public de template and our training to it. Ooh. That should actually be not too bad. Viva la France. Following the Great War, the French people were left destitute and in mourning with much of the nation's economy left in shambles due to the vast war debts. A large chunk of its working age male population having died in many of its cities scarred by the onslaught of war. Yet, yeah, this mourning has given way to a rage that has driven them uh, not only to rebuild but to reassert the superiority of France's culture and way of life. Under France's new nationalist dictatorship, France has not only seen an economic boom but a cultural flourishing due to vast and ambitious public works programs and with it seemingly as though every other week some architectural feat is revealed. Most impressive of which is a statue of Charlemagne, which standing upwards of 300 meters tall straddles the Seine River, dominating the local Parisian skyline, sending a message not to only the French people, but the world that France is a great power is back. With nearly double-digit yearly GDP growth, with some economists, have labeled this boom the French miracle, with many saying that other nations struggle with the ongoing economic crisis should look to the French Republic's, or French public's works program as a means of alleviating their ongoing economic woes. Yet one thing is certain that not only the French people, but the world as a whole, and it's that the French have not just recovered from the horrors of the Great War, but it's grown into a far larger power. I wish I was French, and establish a continental system. With conflict between us and Britain inevitable, we must prepare the people for the economic consequences of the end of all trade with the British. Trade will slowly be phased out with hostile powers replaced with cooperation and friendly regimes. So other than that, we can do all the military stuff, but I think I'll probably do that eventually. So if you'd like to read about these, please go right ahead. I mean, I, I said I would, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and then Flota, and then Destroy Improvements. <coughs> Positioning Manuals, Offshore Maneuvers, Wolfpack Theories, of course. 
Trade Interdiction, New Models, Ghosts in the Sea, Dockyard Expansions, which are very nice, Port Expansions, New Naval Forts, Production Streamlining, Further Dockyard Expansions, uh, that one already, Beast of the Sea, Navy to Match, which looks pretty darn awesome. 5% better, it's not that much better, but it's still pretty good. Cruiser efforts, of course. Offensive manuals, invested carriers. France rules the waves. Ooh. And then we have the Armée de Air. Superior Aerial, Stratégique, Air Ambitions, Aluminum Processing, which actually be very nice. Pilot Discipline, increase fight, flighter, or fighter development funding, increase cast development funding, general production efficiencies, King of the Sky. I'll yeah, we'll go on that one anyways for now. Doctrine Planning, Airfield Expansions, Ace Initiatives, Radar Investments, Anti-Air Investments, Increase Bomber Development, or Funding, Increase Heavy Fighter Development Funding, Air Games, which look pretty good, Increase uh, Production Capabilities, Bombs Away, Devastate Their Lands, and Barons of Heck. Very nice. But the wish does leave us over here with a new world order. Is that TNL? The earth in all her beauty and magnificence laid no different to a des desecrated corpse. Bloody, beaten, and bruised, yet in all that destruction and death, beauty once again emerged. Instead of green fields and busy urban streets, it had altered itself into something new. And its infancy had been even something unrecognizable, but now we all know what it had become. War, along with all its human-made inventions. Unlocked new European decisions, uh, system decisions. Any ideas or bonuses you may have gotten from the NC tree will be removed. Boxes considered expansions will lower your stability and war spurts, so make sure to keep a balance. Well, that's alright. Because right now, we do have high amount of nationalistic war fervor, or just fervor, and factionalism is at 3%. Not bad. Which I'm okay with, because I've been spamming these decisions, Pan-European Council. Uh, we can't do this, because an economic action is currently in progress, I guess, so it is what it is. Other than that, we've just been hanging out here, like I said earlier. Um, I'll be honest, between this episode and, or between this fade and fade out and the last one, there has been a day of processing, or just a day of me just not doing anything, so... Uh, do collaborate with Italy first, because we can. With Italy firmly now under our control, we must uh, now decide what to do with the region and its peoples. We must primarily figure what is the best course of action is to divide these territories. We have the ties. The Piedmont Conference. Hmm. This focus is considered expansionist and will incur penalty for uh, war support and stability. The reaffirm ties. A gift of friendship. Continue the occupation. Oh, we get a core on Malta. Transfer the outer Venetian states. Everything but Tyrol. I kind of like this route. Ooh, I like that image. This image is very nice. Um, can we get any more stability? Yeah, actually we can. Very easily. You know what? Do these both these. Because you get more neo new imperialists and stability, which would be very, very nice. Anything over here we should be really concerned about? Probably is mechanized, which is fine. Whatever. This is Ahmed Cause. We're researching some drugs as well. Musculoskeletal gene treatment. Better equipment. Oh, map weapons of mass destruction. Yes, please. Very nice. Who doesn't love weapons of mass destruction? And we're done. Well, we're actually not done with this quite yet. I want to go to war with Switzerland, but I didn't know this until I tried this off screen. But uh, diplomatic efforts have been disabled at impacts to avoid AI effery. Well, darn. So I think we'll go with Collaborate Italy first. Uh, I kind of want to go this way, so if you want to about reform ties, a gift of friendship, and transfer the outer Venetian uh, states, please go ahead, but the Piedmont Conference. Uh, the state of Savoy and the sole significant French populations. While we are more than friendly with the D'Annunzio's government, we can't really abandon our fellow Frenchmen to another nation. No matter how much we trust them, we can't guarantee that they will respect the needs and wants of these respective French populations. The SBE demand Hanover. A small envelope has reached the General Secretary of German Affairs in France today. It clearly detailed the kind demands of the SP for the French government to relinquish control of the Hanover region of Munich, Germany, to the SP garrison stationed there. The letter was rather left vague in what the SP would do with the region or what would happen if France refused its request, but seeing that these lands are not only French, of French clay, it was highly advised by whoever are not a French clay. It was highly advised by whoever wrote the letter to simply accept the demands. I'd rather avoid a civil war. What? Wait, why? Xavier Valet. The Dark Zone rise over Hanover. What? What even I patch? If you worry about that, please go ahead. Um. All right. That's a crap ton of uh, subs and whatnot, but whatever. Well, okay then. New French man, not bad. We still do this and increase conscription, but we're looking pretty good right now, anyways. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen here. Alemania. Well. 
while it up with continued occupation. It said that in global politics, there's no such thing as eternal allies, only eternal interests. What can you do over here? Invest in Italy. With much of Europe now under our thumb, the time to rebuild has come. Whilst these lands may have once belonged to our enemies, we must convince these now-occupied people that we are their liberators, not their enemies. Funding from France's own pocket will aid in these proposed development programs, and hopefully we can restore much of the destroyed or damaged infrastructure that the war caused. Oh, okay. Well, we can help them out. Sure, why not? The land of Rome. This is not a decision. So then why are you showing me this? Hey, close air support saucer. All right. More supply hubs. Um, we just I decided to just build like a crap ton of supply hubs. Like whenever there's like railways, just build supply hubs because I have nothing else to build around here. That's nice. I built I built supply bases literally all around Switzerland just in case we wanted to invade. So just in case, because we can. Because what else we're we gonna build at this point? You know. Improved infantry equipment is nice and all. Improved amp tracks because you can. And a bit of one conference. Hello. No, that's what I thought. I don't have to continue the occupation. What else is this? Keep investing because you can. Everything but Tyrol. The task of now deciding what to do with the German regions that Italy lays claim to has come up, but government decided it would be best to grant Italy all of her claims, including Sue Tyrol. Italia liberate. Our faithful companions in Italy have been liberated by imperial tyranny by our armies, and they are forever grateful for this fact. Like the towns of old France and Italy has been united under an eternal friendship, one that will stand the test of time. Italy agrees to our demands. The Italian delegation in Rome today approached our ambassador with a disappointed but understanding attitude. The Italian Socialist Republic has agreed to our demands, not willing to test their patience and mind as they have known full well with what the French military is capable of, as I expected. Yeah, why would we... Oh, Mon Monaco exists? Well, that's nice. Savoy is ours, of course. Recruitment drives. And Nice is ours as well, which is very good. Actually, do we have this as a core colony state? No, they're core states. No, not bad, Upper Savoy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Everything but Tyrol, Italia liberated. Then we'll probably do collaborate with Scandinavia. With well, Scandinavia firmly under control, we must now decide what to do with the region and its peoples. We we'll must primarily figure out what the best course of action is to divide these territories. What do we have? Talk with this guy. Reinstate the guy. Transfer Holstein to Almenia. Everything but Tyrol. I would really weaken Germany a lot, but eh, we'll see. Seize Holstein for ourselves. Take the darn islands. If your leader is ambitious, then the chances of uh, invasion succeeding increases. Well, we'll try it. We're going to say it. Halgren. Halgren is seen as the least radical of our two primary candidates for Swedish governance. Unlike his counterpart, Engdahl, he only wishes to maintain largely Catholic conservative rule over Sweden with some neo imperialist ideas. Or this guy. Uh, Engdahl's is a passion as they come in politics. He does a fine job of speaking to mass audiences with a captivating tone unlike no other. While some individuals feel threatened by his ra the radical ideas, some will seem as a proper neo-imperial supporter. I kind of won't get that guy. If he's more radical, I like the radicals. Transfer to them. Alemania. Let's see strength for ourselves. Holstein sits at the crossroads from main mainland Central Europe to Scandinavia. As such, we must occupy this region no matter what the cost. Take the darn islands. Ah, demand the Danish government in exile. The Danes, although bloody and be defeated, still control the regions of Iceland and Greenland. Tears that must come under our control if we wish to put pressure on the United Commonwealth. We try it. Collaborator Nuremberg. With Germany firmly under control now, we must decide to do with the region and its people. We must primarily figure out what the best course of action is to divide these territories. Guys, I don't say burn for last. That Rosenberg reign. The Prince of Junta will do just fine. Let's go with let Rosenberg reign. Rosenberg has become a devoted neo imperialist ever since the ideology's inception has been one of the few Germans who received the honorary status of French and blood. He's a well-educated military professional and capable administrator, seeing much of his active service in the Munich regime. Separate but equal. Not our problem anymore. You can read about that. But separate but equal. Alemania. Alemania. Demands true independence, but we have already listened to their demands. If they push us any further, we will retaliate with military force. As a compromise, we are willing to give them a certain amount of autonomy that many of our subjects simply do not enjoy. And Europe's little heart of gold. It's not bad. We guarantee them. Or Helvetica. Cool. 
The Swiss may have avoided being pulled into the Second Great War, but they still remain a threat to French existence. They've grown rich and fat from war profiteering, and it's about time someone put them in their place. If not, I want to go to war with them, man. If we would go to war with them, that'd be great. Italia liberated. And Germany, a Germany enslaved. Germany, the second greatest threat to France, yet can only to the Anglos, has forever changed. The French people are slowly calling the Rhenish provinces their home, and will soon enough, the entirety of Germany will be indivisible for France. Ooh. All four corners of the globe, with Europe now at peace, France has uncontested domination over much of the continent. However, her influence reaches far into the jungles of South America and to the frozen coasts of North America and beyond. She undoubtedly is the world's new hegemon, and one may even say the future will be one of French mandated peace, a Pax Francia. Cool. And collaborator Britain. With Britain firmly under control, we must decide what to do with the region and its peoples. We must primarily figure out what's the best course of action to divide these territories. Let, let Tam go. Uh, nah, we'll put Locke in his place. Edward Locke. I've been supportive of our regime from day one, seen us as the liberation of the Scottish peoples from Anglo hands. France did them did long ago have a fruitful relationship with Scotland before the formation of the UK, and it seems that Locke would like to rekindle this long lost alliance. Not a bad idea. More recon because you can, sure, why not? You grab that too because you can, why not? We're gonna grab this too because you can, why not? Engdahl, yes. Britain, um, De Gaulle's garrison. No. Arthur's Cornwall. Oh. Well. De Gaulle's Garrison. If you want to read about these two, please go ahead. And this one, too. De Gaulle's Garrison. De Gaulle is a French war hero of the First and Second Great War and has earned his position as a garrison head of the Cornwall region. Some believe he should be granted Cornwall as his own semi autonomous military state to sanction his commendable efforts during wartime. Ally with Hughes, Clique. Clique. General Hughes is of a more of an opportunist than a true ally. He quickly defected the French side following the siege of Cardiff. While he is the most competent of the leaders, he's the safest bet for France. He has little issue with being a puppet of Paris and doing what needs to be done so they can have a meal, a day, and a place to sleep. Who else becomes free? Well, an Albion tame. Well, the Isles of the Britannia sleep under a French sun. While some memory of the Empire is still fresh in the British minds, people give uh, British people's minds. They give enough time, they'll soon forget about those who had abandoned them. Today, France's greatest rivals know our pain and suffering. Nice. And uh, up here, because we got a crap ton of ships now. Uh, mechanized trace, civilian economy, not bad. That's in Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Lands up north, of course. I do want to see what happens with this first before we fade and fade out. Um, I do want to invade, so give us some time, but we'll see what happens. Greater France, so it was settled. Europe's longest rivalry came to an ever better so sweet end. Though the fields lay torn and permanently scarred, not too different from those long ago, victory along with all its burdens was finally achieved. While some individuals aren't slave, others subjected, there are also some of those that have been liberated. While one may ponder on the lasting effects of such a war may have, for the time being, many can rest knowing man's destruction is of future concern. That is, unless old squabbles refuse to die. It's far too soon to make out whether Paris will rule the next century in a period of gold, even sooner to tell if humanity can reject its primitive ways. Wars, borders, and insignificant differences can make everything we've ever worked towards ultimately pointless. Yet it is these very issues that we live as a society, or we as a society strive to overcome. Otherwise, we are, are we truly human? While the era of British peace has finally come to an end, a new era has been birthed. Peaceful or not, continental, continental Europe will enjoy a new master, one not confined to the British way of this thought. Revenge has never tated, tasted any better. And we can hunt the English resistance, but they actually already have a lot of stability. 100%. And of course we have Wales here, the, the, by this guy, Cornwall with Charles' daddy de Gaulle. And of course Scotland's over there too. Also, we did get uh, Elf Ethica. Sweden, or not Sweden, Switzerland uh, is in our faction, so we actually got really lucky with that. I'm not bad. Uh, we didn't get these islands either, which we failed, but, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Um, other than that, yeah, not bad overall. Pretty nice. The Factor of Anchista is pretty darn decent. We have the Pan-Asian Revolutionary Front, which... All right, then. And we have a United China. Uh, mostly United China. Not all of it's United, but, you know, it is what it is. But, hey, I think that'll end us for here today. I do apologize for ranting so much earlier about how I was so disappointed in the whole political power thing and the German thing. But it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.